hey guys and welcome back to another video so today i'm going to be looking at and reviewing previewing the schedule of our nations cup which is set to be held this saturday this saturday night so coming out at round one we go we head to sadegna at the edge of italy and the b road track in the newly added car to the game which is the yaris the toyota yaris so let's see the tires the tires are spot soft and it's only there's only one compound provided 13 lap race is which is not a long race or maybe up to 20 to 25 minutes only so it's a good start with a false start check which is kind of interesting actually i prefer having good start with false start checks and getting punted off rather than having rolling starts where the field could be just could just be spread out within one or two corners like look at just look at spa from Kershaw. so i'm also going to be looking at the pros and cons for this race so the pros is yeah you you might have a fun time because this track is actually pretty fun to overtake and have battles which is what i noticed when i had a lobby and but the cons is that this car can be very twitchy under braking and with tires being at 10 times you it towards the end of the race you might come to like people spinning out and maybe hitting you in the process and a lot of chaos so i don't know it might happen but if you are in a professional enough lobby it should be just fine coming on to round two and we'll be using the group four four wheel drive cars which is the mitsubishi lancer and the subaru wrx and these cars are popular for their handling abilities but horrible at at the straight lines so we are heading to a more not unused lago mag unused track which is Lago Maggiore and we are going to use the west layout I've actually never ever never ever used, used the west layout in sport mode whether it's a daily race or the FIA race so this is interesting and 15 laps 15 laps this this race this one lap can be completed within one and a half minutes so 15 times 9 not more than 25 minutes as well and grid start with four start check again and racing hard tires only so that's the con right there is that there's no tires in such a fun race and although tire wear is high i wish we could just have maybe at least a medium tire the pro is that um once again good battles can be had here and another con that i noticed is the start so you see Maggiore West it has two really sharp corners and I do not think that that everybody can get through there happily and also the third corner which is to cut straight onto the S part of the track it's gonna be some more maybe more off track excursions for some of you who are gonna do this race anyways I think you should really try this out because it's once in a blue moon where you can drive on Lago Maggiore West west against other drivers moving on to round three we're going to britain for this for this race at brands hatch the long version so we are in the japanese car which is the honda integra type r and it's one of the most iconic ff cars of the century or maybe of all time for me um so let's take a look at the details 12 laps around this track which is 95 seconds for a lap once again we will be having the grid start with a four start check so basically there might not be any rolling starts yet so we're using the sports hard so as usual as i expected there you won't that normally with normal cars there won't be any tire choice and yeah tire wear eight times maybe not a problem for the rear tires but the front tires might be burning i've not tried this car yet but they might be burning by the time you end this race burning as in totally bald so the pros of this race is um, not really then there aren't really many pros just that this car may be interesting to use and you might want to try this out but cons there are many cons first of all brand hatch is a very it's a handling circuit it's not a power circuit so first of all you might notice that there aren't many overtaking spots so the only overtaking spot that i've noticed is at druids which is turn two 
and yeah that's pretty much every every the only overtaking spot but i also noticed that this car can be quite sensitive so it's like you might be it might be easy to go off track yeah so we'll we'll we'll, we'll see what happens on that day coming down to round four which is the top 16 race and yeah we'll be using the super formula cars the both honda and the toyota are allowed for this race and oh no what a terrible track choice mount panorama are you kidding me oh no this is terrible anyway back to the back to the preview racing medium and hard tires are prepared for you to use and again grid start with false start check have you ever seen how terrible the, the grid starts are at baddest remember two to three months ago we had a race using the bmw m3s at baddest for one nation's cup and my and the grid for my race totally took an absolute battering i think half of the grid totally slammed into the gravel trap yeah so i'm not looking forward to this whatsoever and that the grid the grid are so tight and so the, the the start finish line is the start finish straight is so narrow yeah so good luck even if you can get a good start you might end up hitting someone who gets a bad start so that's the con for me but the pro is that the high downforce nature of this car means that you are gonna have a really good time like a roller coaster ride a fun roller coaster ride down the deeper which is the mountain section before the conrod straight okay so 13 laps and medium and hard so at least we get some strategy if there is a hard if the only tires provided were the hard tires i would have just dumped this race totally now i'm heading to round five we are halfway through this through this season and the event date 23rd of december is two days before christmas anyways group three in in barcelona which is the testing track for f1 so we'll be in the group three car and that's fun i actually enjoy i love barcelona in the group three so anyways looking at the tire wear tire wear seven times fuel is three times and so group three as i said before one of the most unpredictable cars there's no op car here there's no there's no most powerful car here and especially at, at catalonia where there is high speed straights where there is straights where that chal- that has the top end of a car there are also many many uh con- technical low speed corner section just look at sector three and and then there's the middle speed niche the middle speed sector of sector one so yeah it's like a car may be strong here but weak at the other part and the car may be strong there but weak here so it's, it'll be interesting to see the car choices so soft and mediums we provided that's nice as well uh 13 laps here so it's a short race but never mind i wouldn't mind a lot about the time duration of the race so the pros once again is that yeah the unpredictability of the cars and the cons i think are just maybe people getting too impatient with the get people getting too impatient with their overtaking since overtaking once again is hard and also the the torture the torture of heading through the chicane 13 times in this race yes that's what i hate of this track that chicane with that high sausage bumps anyway heading to round six and right back yeah we are back to the meme cup location location where the meme the meme cup happens special stage root x in this time we're in the n700 car so they might be slightly sl- slower and maybe who knows maybe much more easier to control last time terrible disaster flashbacking so two laps around here which is disappointing because i would like more race more laps here you could maybe just keep the adrenaline going for maybe a few five more minutes so anyways a rolling start for first time this season so i'm going to go straight to the pros on this one and the cons on this one well you have known it already pros it's very fun cons it might be too competitive now round seven 
So also for the making its debut here is the Mini Clubman VGT. So in the Dragon Trail Seaside, which is the classic track of the game. Quick start before start check and soft and medium tyres provided for 13 laps around this place. So it's going to, I, it's the longest race on the calendar so far. And just look at the fuel and hey, just look at the tyre wear. Tyre wear is 10 times, sorry I thought I saw fuel is 10 times there. 10 times, are you kidding me? This car must, must be really good in tyre wear or else it's just going to be so interesting. Um, so that's the pros is strategy probably and the cons is I don't know I can't see any cons here maybe the chicken of death just claiming people here and there but I don't see any other cons this 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 is one of the most anticipated rounds for me so far round eight now which is the final round and I'm really disappointed now looking that we are using group four as a final round because you know who will prevail when it comes to group four? Yes, I know. Every each of one of you watching has this has already thought of which car comes to your mind. I'm not gonna say it. So at Fuji, which is the first time for me, yeah, I'm sure they have came to Fuji many times prior. So I have a feeling FF might not be too strong here because of the low speed sector three, and. Quick start at 4 start check, yep, FF definitely not gonna do well here. Racing hard tyres only. Once again disappointing for a final round. We have seen before how that manufacturer's series, the calendar, the final round has given us soft, medium and hard tyres. And such a great track, which is the Lago Maggiore Central, but this time we're at a pretty mediocre race and mediocre combo. So, um, the pros is maybe that, maybe the FF might not be too doing too well here. Hope so. I really do hope so. Cons is that it's, it might be boring. Yeah, it might be boring. And but I just noticed, yeah, ten times again, ten times of tire wear. That is just, that is just so, so high. So, anyways, that's it for this video. And I hope you managed to listen all the way up to this stage. And I'll see you in the next video.